Have you ever wondered how an oceanic phenomenon thousands of miles away can drastically alter the world's climate? It's a question that underlines the intricate tapestry of our Earth's ecosystems, where a change in one corner can ripple across the globe. Climate change is a hot topic, and for good reason. But today, we're going to zoom in on a particular piece of that puzzle, El Niño. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of El Niño and its profound influence on our planet's climate. First, let's get to know this mysterious force called El Niño. Now, El Niño may sound like a villain from a superhero movie, but it's actually a complex weather pattern resulting from variations in ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. So, let's break this down. The term El Niño is Spanish for the little boy, and it is used to describe a climatic phenomenon that occurs roughly every two to seven years. You see, the Pacific Ocean near the equator typically has a warm western part and a cooler eastern part. But every few years, this pattern flips. During an El Niño event, the warm water normally found in the western Pacific moves eastwards, towards the coast of South America. This shift in warm water changes the direction of wind patterns, which in turn affects weather systems around the globe. It's like a domino effect, where one change triggers a series of other changes. Now, you might be wondering why we call it the little boy. Well, this phenomenon was first recognized by fishermen off the coast of South America, who noticed the arrival of unusually warm water in the Pacific Ocean around Christmas. They named it El Niño after the Christ child because of its timing. Remember, El Niño is not a one-time event but a cyclical occurrence. Just like seasons change, El Niño and its cooler counterpart La Niña are part of a cycle known as the El Niño Southern Oscillation, or ENSO for short. This cycle affects global climate patterns and can lead to extreme weather events. But here's the key takeaway. El Niño is not some mythical monster causing havoc, but a natural, albeit powerful, part of our planet's complex climate system. Understanding it helps scientists predict weather patterns and potentially mitigate some of the impacts of these extreme weather events. So, El Niño is essentially an unusually warm ocean current, but how does this lead to drastic changes in climate? Let's delve deeper into that in the next scene. The trigger for El Niño lies deep in the Pacific Ocean. So let's dive in and uncover the mysteries of this fascinating phenomenon. El Niño, Spanish for the boy, refers to the Christ child due to its tendency to occur around Christmas. However, its causes are far from miraculous, anchored in the tangible world of wind and water. Picture this. The Pacific Ocean is like a giant bathtub. Usually, trade winds blow from east to west, pushing warm surface water towards Asia. This creates a sort of pile-up, with warmer water in the western Pacific and cooler water in the east, near the Americas. Now imagine someone switching off the fan, or the trade winds weakening. The pile-up disperses, and warm water spreads back towards the east. This shift in water temperature is a key player in the El Niño story. But what about the winds? Well, winds are like the puppeteers of the ocean, directing its movements. Under normal conditions, the trade winds blow strongly and consistently, but every two to seven years, these winds weaken or even reverse direction. It's like a well-rehearsed orchestra suddenly playing out of tune. This change in wind pattern disrupts the ocean's normal rhythm, setting the stage for El Niño. And what happens when you mix warm water and irregular winds? You get a perfect El Niño cocktail. The warmer water suppresses the upwelling of cooler, nutrient-rich water from the ocean depths. This impacts the marine food chain and influences weather patterns across the globe. Now the question you might be asking is, why do the winds change? The answer is still a subject of scientific research. Some theories suggest it could be due to atmospheric instability or changes in sea surface temperature. But until we have a definitive answer, El Niño remains part of nature's enigmatic symphony, playing its own tune in the vast Pacific Ocean. So, a shift in winds and a surge in ocean temperature join forces to create El Niño. This cyclical event, as complex as it is, reminds us of the intricate interplay between the Earth's atmosphere and its oceans. And understanding it is not just about decoding nature's mysteries, but also about preparing ourselves for its potential impacts. Now, you may wonder, how can a warm ocean current cause such global chaos? Well, let's delve into the effects of El Niño to answer this question. El Niño's influence is not limited to the tropical Pacific. Its tentacles reach out, reshaping weather patterns globally. 
Let's start our journey in Australia. Typically, a land of extremes during an El Nino year, these extremes get more pronounced. Droughts become more severe, crop yields plummet, and wildfires rage with increased intensity. But the impact of El Nino doesn't stop there. Let's hop across the Pacific to South America. Here, El Nino brings an overabundance of rain. This sudden deluge can cause devastating floods, displacing people, and causing widespread damage to infrastructure and agriculture. El Nino's ripple effects can also be felt in North America. Some parts of the continent experience milder winters, while others may face increased rainfall, leading to flooding and landslides. In Africa, El Nino can bring both severe drought and intense rainfall, depending on the region. Drought can lead to food shortages, while excessive rainfall often results in floods and disease outbreaks. El Nino's effects are not just confined to land. The warmer ocean waters can lead to coral bleaching events, threatening marine ecosystems and the livelihoods of those who depend on them. The unpredictability of El Nino's effects magnifies its impact. One might assume that more rain is good for crops, but when it comes in torrents, it can be just as damaging as a drought. Similarly, a milder winter might seem pleasant, but it can disrupt the natural rhythms of wildlife and lead to increased pest populations. And remember, El Nino is not a standalone event. It's part of a larger climate system, interacting with other phenomena like global warming, adding another layer of complexity to our understanding of our planet's climate. El Nino, as we see, is a true climate game changer. It's a stark reminder of how interconnected our world is and how a shift in ocean temperatures can send ripples across the globe, affecting life on land and sea in profound and often unpredictable ways. So, we know what El Nino is and what it can do, but how can we live with it? As we dive deeper into understanding El Nino, it's crucial to realize that this phenomenon isn't going anywhere. It's part of our Earth's climate system, and we need to adapt. Thankfully, there are strategies that we can employ to cope with its effects. Firstly, early warning systems play a pivotal role in preparing for El Nino events. These systems use sophisticated technology to predict the onset of El Nino, providing us with valuable time to brace ourselves for the potential impacts. Governments, communities and individuals can take this time to prepare, ensuring that we're not caught off guard. But preparation isn't all about bracing for impact. It's also about adopting sustainable practices. For instance, in areas affected by droughts due to El Nino, it's essential to use water more efficiently. This might mean implementing drip irrigation systems in agriculture or encouraging households to conserve water. Similarly, in regions that experience heavy rainfall and flooding, we could consider constructing infrastructure that can withstand these conditions, such as flood-resistant housing and effective drainage systems. Agriculture is often the most affected by El Nino. Hence, farmers can consider diversifying their crops, opting for varieties that are more resistant to the altered weather conditions. This not only ensures their livelihood, but also contributes to food security in times of crisis. However, none of these strategies can be fully effective without global cooperation. El Nino is a worldwide issue, affecting countries across the globe. We need to share knowledge, resources and strategies to tackle this issue effectively. International cooperation is key in not just surviving, but thriving in an El Nino-prone world. Indeed, living with El Nino is about more than just survival. It's about learning, adapting and evolving in response to the challenges it presents. It's about recognizing that we're all in this together and together we can turn the tide on El Nino and its effects. So let's join hands and face this global challenge head on. Together we can turn the tide on El Nino and its effects. So there you have it, the might of El Nino and its global impact. This phenomenon, seemingly elusive and complex, is a significant player in our planet's climate system. It's not just a far-off occurrence in the Pacific Ocean, it has widespread effects that touch every corner of our world. We've learned that El Nino is a weather pattern that occurs when the ocean surface warms up, disrupting the normal flow of atmospheric conditions. This disruption has a domino effect, causing shifts in weather patterns globally. From storms in California to droughts in Australia, El Nino is a force that shapes our climates, our seasons, and ultimately, our lives. We've also discussed how El Nino is caused by a complex interplay of oceanic and atmospheric conditions. It's not something that we can stop or prevent. However, understanding this phenomenon equips us with the knowledge to prepare for it and mitigate its impacts. Living with El Nino is about adaptation, resilience and preparation. 
It's about understanding the signs, predicting its occurrence, and taking measures to reduce its impacts on our communities and ecosystems. As we navigate this complex world of climate change, remember, every drop in the ocean counts. Please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Knowledge is power, and it's free. Let's spread it far and wide.